My name is John McNaughton, and I want to tell you about my new painting. In the fall of 1777, George Washington took his army and made winter quarters in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. The lack of supplies, frigid cold, and rampant disease led to the death of an estimated 25% of Washington's soldiers that winter. In my painting, I chose to depict General Washington kneeling in fervent prayer for his army and the cause of freedom. Unbeknownst to him, large warrior angels stand beside him in the snow. A warrior to the right holds the sword of truth, his hand over his heart. A warrior to the left wields the sword of virtue, gesturing toward Washington. The strength of Washington and his army was not solely in their skills and weaponry, but in their faith, courage, and virtue, as they stood strong against the face of tyranny. As we look to uncertain times ahead, let us remember to pray for God's blessing, wisdom, and strength to face every battle that comes. Let us also remember that when all seems lost, there are more for us than there are against us. There's a quote regarding the prayer at Valley Forge that I found very influential in putting together this painting. This comes from the diary of Reverend Nathaniel Randolph Snowden, as stated by Isaac Potts, who was a British loyalist and lived in the Valley Forge area during the winter of 1777 and 1778. He said, quote, in that woods, pointing to a close-in view, I heard a plaintive sound as of a man at prayer. I tied my horse to a sapling and went quietly into the woods, and to my astonishment, I saw the great George Washington on his knees alone, with his sword on one side and his cocked hat on the other. He was at prayer to the God of the armies, beseeching him to impose with his divine aid, as it was the crisis and the cause of the country, of humanity, and of the world. Such a prayer I have never heard from the lips of man. I left him alone praying. I went home and told my wife. I saw a sight and heard today what I never saw or heard before, and just related to her what I had seen and heard and observed. We never thought a man could be a soldier and a Christian, but if there is one in the world, it is Washington. She also was astonished. We thought it was the cause of God, and America could prevail.